There is evil in this world. And we were reminded very vividly of that fact this past Friday. You know, I have children of my own. I have three children. And seeing what had happened would send fear into anyone. And I really, my heart goes out to those people that are suffering right now in Connecticut. But with that being said, there is a hysteria with the national press to demonize legal gun owners. People that have different type weapons for enjoyment, for hunting, for all the different purposes, for target shooting, but mainly for self-defense. And that self-defense not only includes personal self-defense, but a national defense. And while this tragedy was really great, and it really saddens us all, this should not be a political frenzy to end one of our most sacred rights as American citizens. So I've received a lot of messages, I've received a lot of phone calls from many friends, many not knowing what to do. Let me tell you the first thing you need to do as a gun owner is one that's concerned about not only our Second Amendment, but of the Constitution as a whole, is to immediately call your senators and support them in standing against any new gun restrictive legislation. Call your congressmen, do the same thing. Call them. You can email them, but it's more important that you call them, and if you write them a letter, that's even better. Make sure you do it. I just got off the phone with Lindsey Graham's office, who is the senator, one of the senators here in South Carolina. And I immediately called, and now I've been on the phone with others, immediately calling them. Call your state governor and tell them that we are standing on the Second Amendment and we're trusting them to stand with us in this basic right that we have as American citizens. Listen, one of the things that I've kept hearing in the national media and with many of our senators is what do these guns have to do with hunting? Well, let me say one thing right up front. Hunting is not a guaranteed right in our Constitution. Hunting has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. While I enjoy hunting myself, it is not one of our inalienable rights. So this is not about hunting. This is about standing up for our rights and keeping ourselves to be a free people. And that's what the Second Amendment is all about. Now, the next thing you need to do, which is just as important, if you have never joined the NRA, do so as soon as possible. If you have never joined Gun Owners of America, you need to do so as soon as possible. One organization that I'm a member of is the National Organization of Gun Rights. All three of these, you need to join as many organizations. What this is going to do, because if you have an influx of membership, it's going to give the NRA the confidence to really stand firm and to really fight this battle. Listen, there are many things that have slid through. Benghazi, Fast and Furious, all of these things just seem to get nowhere. But the one thing that we have with the NRA, with Gun Owners of America, and other gun rights organizations is that they do fight actively, that they do have a lobby, that they will contact your senators and congressmen, and they do have lawyers that will stand firm for us and that is a serious thing that we need to get behind right now. We're probably going to get some anti-gun legislation passed over us. But we have got to fight, fight, fight. And if you are already a member of those organizations, please consider sending them a donation to help with this fight. Because you could lose basic human rights, you could lose certain firearms that you've spent your hard-earned dollars for, that you enjoy shooting. Now, one thing that's kind of missed the national press lately is this shooting in Oregon at this mall. And that shooting was pretty much stopped by a concealed carry holder. Only two people were killed until the gunman turned the gun on himself. And I'm going to have the link down below. The local news there in Oregon talks about a lone concealed carry holder that drew a gun on this guy. And right after that, the guy took the gun to himself and possibly stop this whole situation from escalating much further. But why aren't we hearing this in the rest of the national press? Why has this been looked over? I've got the link to that news article and to the video down below in the description. And I'm also going to have all the links to all these gun rights organizations that I'm a part of that I highly suggest you get a hold of. Listen, we're all really down and out. I've just been to a gun show this weekend and so many people are buying ammunition they're buying guns, they're buying different supplies. I was in an academy sports, people buying ammunition, buying guns, buying these things. Listen, that's all well and good, but unless we stand up and make our voice heard against this roar from the national media, 
we are going to lose some really inalienable, serious rights that we have possessed for over 200 years as American citizens. So stand firm, don't lose courage, and continue the struggle. You need to stay with your Congress and Senate. You need to stay with your local representatives, even on the state level, to let them know that we will not tolerate a stripping of our constitutional rights. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.